In the world that we live in, beloved, almost every person wants to blow up. But it is only the wise who choose to grow. Blowing up is instant. Growing is gradual. There are more blessings in growing than blowing. You must understand that everything that blows gets disintegrated, scattered, and does not hold its initial or original stature. The Bible in the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 40, the Bible says, And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of the Lord was upon him. The grace of God was upon Christ. Why? Christ at this moment was not blowing Jesus was growing, and as he grew, he became strong in spirit. Whenever we choose to grow, we become stronger and stronger. Whoever chooses to blow, misses and loses it. It is when we choose to grow that we allow the Spirit of the Lord to make us grow in wisdom. Because grow, obviously we understand that wisdom comes by us apl- applying knowledge that is given to us at each and every stage. Now, when we look at the world today, we can be able to see, that, beloved, that not so many people are willing to grow in the things of God or even in business. A person who chooses to grow has intentional and consistent, even continuous personal development. He who wants to grow will be intentional. Their movement, their plans shall be intentional. Even when they have any blessing whatsoever, they shall use that blessing intentionally. For example, when a person has money and they want to grow, their use for money shall be intentional. Whatever they shall do shall be one that shall bring development. A person who wants to blow wants everyone to see that they have whatever they may have. They want everyone to draw attention to them because their purpose is blowing. Muntunga Alefo could start grow. They will be able to keep that which they have. And as they keep it, their intention shall be to multiply, grow, or increase it. A person who wants to blow will be able to scatter so that people are able to notice them. No wonder in life you'll be able to see these days that people who really want to make it in life are those who even when they have a little, they'll behave like they have nothing because their goal is beyond the finances or the resources that they have. But a person who you will see in their behavior. You know that you want to have one of one service, because their development is not continuous and intentional. Now, how is it that a person who wants to grow is able to develop eventually? Number one, it is because these people are able to embrace change. A person who wants to grow wants to move from one level to another. You must embrace change. You must never be comfortable with a place, situation, condition, or season that you are in. And because you don't want to be there forever, whatever resource you have shall be to multiply or increase you. This is how come you may find that a person can have maybe a thousand. The way one person will use a thousand will not be the same as the other person who will use a thousand. Umamuntu, you will not know that they've had a little bit of some money. But later on, you will start to see their fruits. You will start to hear them maybe living in their own houses. Oh, Tuali ku katuwe kala munganda yesu. Oh, nali puise skulu. Oh, nali chite fine, 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 fi. Oh, nali am the business. Because chonzo chovale chita vena, bafuwa yo kukula. Ngole kula, nishule chinja. Hallelujah, beloved. Such a person But noticed. You must understand that being noticed does not always bring development and value. There are so many people today who are noticed, and yet what they do has brought no value to them. In fact, for some, it has brought so many problems. 
Some people, because of Ukpitana, they've ended up having children over the no quarter. Wherever they went, because there had no intention or plan. When you have an intention or plan, you'll be able to keep yourself. You'll be able to keep your resources. And your intention shall be to multiply your resources so that you don't continue to go through the same way you, you, you go through for you to have a little that you have. We've seen a person who is a guard. Afwa nalutuku. Awa na ikanenchita wa mtamfia. Because mulisha shine mpia fulaka tushinga 600 or 400. Nga kuata. Ala labana kunchito. We've also seen, I have personally seen one man whom I'm currently working with in the Ministry of General Education. Who was a guard but has turned out to be a teacher in the Ministry of Education. And I believe that man is... Somebody who shall continue to grow. He is somebody who never gave excuses. Somebody who never lied to his wife at Inshfolele. But whatever he had, he sat down with his wife. And today, he is no longer a god. He is somebody bigger. We've also seen some people boasting at Tempia. Give them some time. Nothing shall show out of whatever they were boasting for. Other people, the same money when they buy food up, they've built houses, they've become more established, their wives have gone to school, or their wives have started businesses. Nobody outside the circumference of the Lord has snatched any amount from them. And then they even help other people. They help their families, they help their friends, you know, and then they continue to grow. Why? They chose to embrace change. Beloved, a person who also wants to continue growing is somebody who values to continue to receive or attain knowledge. A person who wants to grow in learning is somebody whose mindset shall never be the same. When you want to grow, you are telling your mindset to grow, to become better, to become more knowledgeable. And when you become more knowledgeable, you shall apply so many principles in life differently because of the knowledge that you have hallelujah so continuous learning progressive learning is always a tool for somebody who wants to grow they may have known a lot but when you are with them they'll behave quite a for by issue when they are with their wives or their husbands they will listen quite a but they have a folk to start blow. Gaba got a chance to quarter with a little. Nita party for Winganje by your finch work quarter. Because when na each of our folk start ten, never quarter for pain. So they've stopped to learn. And beloved, that becomes a very, very sad story. What else do we see between a person who wants to grow and the other one who wants to blow? A person who wants to blow, their only goal is to become big. Have fast money, buy the biggest or most expensive car, put the a, a system with the highest volume, so that whenever they are moving, people will be like, "Yeah, they want to quit." But a person who wants to grow, they set very clear goals. Their vision is clear, their aim is clear, even their objectives on a daily basis are clear. They are not controlled by what they've achieved. But they control their achievements for them to continue to grow them more. When they marry, they will look for a woman who shall take them pantans. If they find a woman who is not that educated, but in wife material or bad children, they will come to the West or offer them A person who wants to blow, Ngakwate chintu ni shalava na family, whether ni family ya ya kwe nuclear family, ba brother ba sister ni shaba lava, eba mbuya ba shkulu, but konzo kwa lea ni ya eba umiawa, eba ishibo kwa angala. Because badia, echo bafo wa coach tablo. Now, I'm teaching this so that we see where we are today and we change for the better. Remember, I've said the person who wants to grow will continue to learn. So sometimes you might be found on the blowing parts. Beloved, you can start to grow. Others might find themselves, as I'm talking, on the growing part. Beloved, never lose your hold. Hold on to growing and blowing. Because the moment you start blowing, 
is the very moment you start to go down. But he who wants to grow starts to go up. Hallelujah. So we thank God for this encouragement that I've given you. Because the person again who wants to grow is somebody who shall appreciate big or small opportunities or even favors that come their way. They shall be able to appreciate whoever plays a role in their lives or families. And because they're able to appreciate, they will never fail to take care of other people because they understand that as they are growing their aim will also be to make sure that other people grow out of the privileges that they have so these are people who end up to make other people's lives better they will take them to school they will ensure that other people start businesses in short if you are a pauper Provided you come, you know, across a person who wants to grow, you will never be the same. You will start to see yourself change. Again, a person who wants to grow is never afraid of challenges. Somebody who blows will run away from challenges. Because the person because the person who blows becomes careless. But he who grows becomes very careful. And they are able to use their challenges, their problems as weapons or tools to better themselves. They thrive in short in challenges. A person who grows, even when they have made it, they will never lose the relationships that they had. They will always value relationships. We've seen people blowing. But grow. They will always embrace their connections, always embrace their relationships. They will always try to build meaningful relationships. They will provide guidance. They will be able to get or receive guidance. These are people who will provide support and will also allow others to be supported. They will not be competitive to their peers, but they will be supportive. So, beloved, out of these things, you can see who you are as I'm talking, beloved. And it is of great importance that we become better in life. We become better in life. Now, we also might have a question. How is it that somebody, you know, might start to think like the way I'm thinking? Obviously, you must have a vision. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. A person without direction becomes the enemy to himself when you give them privileges. A person without a vision. Instead of creating solutions, create my problems. Bambi, you know, my situations are quite bad. Palestine, Gabay, Saikala. Gabala, and that if we to add in the fuego, why you say you don't want any more? Things to inga monat to add in the more apart from over Malaya and the Pakanoa, you will never see anything. But I want to have a show of my privileges here. We know. Now, we talk about where we are today. Ni 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 when? Now, we talk about where we are Maybe go America, go UK, go Dubai. Life fair. Ika monika. Life man, na ba kwa na ba kwa le na disangwa po kuna na dia ku university ku eh ine na dia po pule po sumi chupo suma eh ine na dia ndele fialo eh ine na dia good kuri game shan but tapari chole langa that becomes a very very sad life because if we were yips after watch me kila bantu if we were sam bidira if we were ndele ma businesses if we were ndele fialo eh if we were kuishi ba politician the question is finishi. So let us be more alert. Let us use our, you know, our situations or opportunities well. Let us aim to grow. And finally, around to these days, they don't want to grow. Even sadly, even in the church, people want, you know, microwave solutions. What a problem a penny for their solution. People who behave like that have a nature of blowing. But those who want to grow, they pick every opportunity. They pick every challenge. 
to better themselves. They are patient. These are people who learn through endurance, perseverance. You know, their patience shall be elasticated. To a level that when, beca- then when they become so big, they will behave. Umuntu nga mampira position ni inono. Na angulesa nga kupira position ni inono. Wafiro kui chita manage. Ni nshure wa wandu ajine mweka mpira po chintu ichisuma. Because ichimu mpere, I can have shown you already that I have failed. And I want to have a privilege of my politics, my businesses, my customers, 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 Time and chance happens to them all. If I, as Pastor Mamba, have been given a chance to be a husband, I should use the time to be a husband well. Because if I misuse it, my wife may never have interest in my life. If I misuse the opportunity of doing well, businesses, people may never have confidence in me. Even nang fenu ma churches, ma cooperative, ngana ba tupe la chance mo na wakwalesa. Let us do beyond expectation. Let us, you know, um, conduct ourselves above par, not below par. Wherever we are, ngani mu family, nifo ba pelo mu chinchi, yoni mo mo ba shala po ba anti ba mami. Let us show that we are responsible. Because ngata tu bonfe shewu ino hili a chansi. Avantu ba kalo le shakumbi. And we will not blame them. Even ama politicians, ama parties, ama political parties, yale yes, avantu wa mtuela chansi. How do you maintain? Ubu fumu nangu ififulo, nangu kutungulula. It is what you do. That people nga waiso bushkuwa kuvota. Wake sala nda tubu show you. Nari ngo konka nyapo na ngutari ngile. If indela nda fila chitika ma politics. Fila chitika wa mdi mufiupo. Abantu wa mdi wali chita divorce. Wa mdi wali chita divorce. But love kale ya ya. Because umu na wonga wa lulecha. Tamone fila chita benefit mlivena. So life na mena relationship ya diba very cold. Mwewa na wakwalesa. The chances that we have are like, you know, the parable of talent, talents. May our master, Lord God, find favor in us by what we do every day. Choosing to grow. Never stopping to learn. Never saying, if you are fish, you are fish. Sometimes, take which of you are fish. Goliath had fish, you are fish. Had he paid attention as to why God allowed a small boy like David to rise up? Maybe he could have humbled himself. But I have one experience. Experience can only take you to a certain extent. But when you choose to grow, you become better. You become relevant. Beloved, that was my encouragement. May the Lord bless you. May the grace of the Lord be upon you. May you choose to grow and not to blow. May you choose to move financially, little by little, and yet creating wealth. May you never go after riches, but after wealth. Riches can come today. A person can have 50 pin, 20,000 today. But it takes the character of growth to maintain that money so that it may grow. He who has money with a blowing mentality shall scatter every big money. Just last year, 2019, 2020, 2023, 2024, but because we have a blowing mentality, we have a blowing mentality. Those who grow, they are still doing fine. May the Lord bless you. Pastor Mamba, thank you for listening.